Hi everybody and welcome to the Layers Palette tutorial for Sketchable. First of all, let's open up the Sketchable application and find a piece of artwork with enough layers so we can get started. You'll find that the Layers Palette has two modes, Compact and Verbose. And while controls between the modes can differ, the controls here at the top do remain consistent. They are Expand Collapse and More. The More button will launch a menu with all the individual commands you can perform on a given layer. As stated, controls differ slightly between modes. The bottom of the panel has quick commands comprised of the most used options. As you can see here, such as Add and Delete. In the verbose mode, more room is available, so more quick commands are added. Here you can see Duplicate Layer and Merge Layer. The biggest difference between these modes are the layer tiles and their interactions. This is the Compact mode, and by pressing on the layer thumbnail, you can access all of that particular layer's settings. These are Name, Opacity, Visibility, and Blend Mode. And as you can see, you have a large variety of blend modes to work with, all accessible in verbose and compact modes. If you'd like to reposition a layer, hold down on that same position until the rest of the layers are slightly dimmed, and then drag your layer to the desired location. In the verbose mode, this control differs slightly. All of the layer settings are now in the topmost level, as you can see here. And it's now quite easy to select a layer by clicking on either the thumbnail or the name position. And just as before, once you've selected your layer, just simply drag and drop to rearrange your layers. And so the final consistency amongst the two modes here is the background color layer mode. Clicking on the background layer circle, you'll be able to set the desired color and visibility. The background layer is default within every new journal page and it is set to white as a default as well. And of course you can constantly update and change the color throughout the time you spend drawing your art piece. So that's it for this tutorial. My name is Lawrence Mann. If you've got any comments or questions leave them below or come seek me out and I'll see what I can do to help. See you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.